When you have a YouTube channel and watching someone else videos, you don't give a shit what they say and you only care for their video editing. So I'm here to talk about 3 channels with very different video styles, and telling you some more stories between. And I will start with Luke Smith. You know, I recently tilled it, I, I planted a bunch of stuff, in fact this one here, that's my potato patch. That's a guy always carrying a selfie stick with him, that in random moments takes it out, and start bullshitting till he arrives to his destination. Back to his place, he takes this raw video without even watching it, and he just uploads on YouTube. Then, Luke also uploads some Linux tutorials, but those are like 2010, meaning you could do the same things 10 years ago and nothing has changed. But what's the most interesting part for me, is the actual amount of information Luke gives at any given time. And that's probably as low as 40%, which means that the rest 60% of video time is meaningless blah blah blah. That happens when you're doing completely unscripted videos. And yet, Luke has a decent number of views. How the hell that happens? Simply because Luke is very talented front of the camera, and not many people have such skills. You see, everything in life is about talent. Talented people don't even need to try. And when you don't have talent, this thing happens. Yep, right there. Oh, shit. Fucking spiders. Get the fuck out of me! Disgusting thing, Jesus Christ. When you do gaming videos that needs tints and voice color, with this speech the only you can kill is your viewers with boredom. So, how Nick countered his weakness? He introduced something totally new in Linux YouTube, and that is the professionalism. I mean Mark's Brownlee Pro level. But you know, talent is a skill assembled for many abilities. This guy has perfect look, perfect voice, and above all he is class in everything. Call me a racist, but when I see Linus I think of a crying gypsy. Super content, lots of work on editing, but I can hardly watch. And back to Nick, who mostly does Linux desktop news. His videos usually consist of many small clips, and everything is obviously well scripted. So if something feels wrong, he will retake till he gets it right. The amount of information he gives per video minute is almost 100%, without anything going wasted, straight to the point, without any unnecessary stuff or repeating. It's not really what's worst what's best, it is just a video style, and some people may prefer more chatty content. Personally, I consider Nick two levels above anyone else on Linux YouTube. And honestly, I believe it is only Nick and me who really really try, to make really really quality videos. The difference is that only one succeeds it, and Flash News, it is not me. Next I want to show you my video editing, and I don't mean the video style or the tools, but how I compose the timelines. And I will use this video as an example. What I'm trying to do is to make one shot videos that may be around 3 to 4 minutes, so I'm doing stuff on desktop and I explain normally on microphone. One shots are cool because you don't confuse the viewer with switching screens too often. But one shots are also extremely hard, because if you make a mistake, or if something bugs that happens often, you need to retake all the way from the start. And that's why you don't see misclicks or software issues on my videos. So that's the timeline on the silver blue video, and the 1.nkv clip you will see it has duration of 5 minutes and 40 seconds. But on the timeline 1.mkv starts playing from the 30th second, and ends in 5th minute. So I basically took a 6 minutes video and I made it 5. You see all those video cuts, right? That's because I took my normal voice and replaced it with Coco, saying much more things in less time. The power of a complete scripted video. And I'm challenging you to re-watch it, and it will be really hard to tell this clip had so many cuts, even if you know it. And that editing took me around 3 to 4 hours for an 8 minutes video, which is a very good time for a fully scripted movie. It is not Luke Smith that he produces 20 minutes in 20 minutes exactly, but it is more closely to Nick's editing. But Baby Woke has always a better plot. So Derek Taylor uploaded a video explaining how a YouTube channel is failing, and he used and abused me. And I denounced that on hashtag me too. Now you will say it is a weird voice, that anime is awkward, and that I don't do face reveal. And all those are valid points to some extent, but let me tell you the two true reasons. That's my video library, and one good video I've made is the one with Deep in Linux. By good, 
I first mean an interesting topic, and second I mean a video I'm not trolling inside. The next good video after Deep In, is my Silver Blue series. And between we have 18 completely trash uploads. And that's kinda the standard of the channel, including this very video. So the way I see it, in reality this channel does great, considering. The second thing is that I'm blaming everything. I'm blaming Plasma, Ubuntu, Elementary, even Fedora and Dome that I'm actually using. And here's the thing. Everyone knows this app store sucks, but if you say it is an ultimate garbage you won't get subscribers. But if you say how cool is this, even if none believes you, then you'll get some dozens new subs. Now, if you say that GNOME software is better than Play Store, you'll get millions views. I'm promising you. 